Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Scrintle and Obsidian and comparing both of these note taking apps to find out which one is better. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand all the key differences between them and you'll be able to work out which one's a better fit for your individual needs. So let's start with an overview. Scrintle is a unique tool that combines the visual appeal of mind mapping with the functionality of network note taking. It uses cards as its primary building blocks, allowing users to convert cluttered ideas into connected information. This makes it an excellent choice for visual thinkers. On the other hand, Obsidian is a flexible writing app that adapts to your thought process. It stores notes on your device for quick access, even when offline. One of Obsidian's key features is its use of open, non-proprietary files, ensuring you're never locked in and can preserve your data long term. It offers a range of tools for personal notes, journaling, knowledge bases, and project management. The ability to create connections between notes and visualize these relationships through an interactive graph is a standout feature. In summary, both Scrintool and Obsidian offer unique strengths and can be chosen based on your specific needs. Whether you prefer a more visual approach to note taking or require a flexible and customizable writing app, both tools have something to offer. So what are the key features of both of these apps? For Scrintle, one of their key features is hybrid note-taking. Scrintle combines visual mind mapping with networked note-taking, providing a unique approach to organising thoughts. It also has a card-based system. It uses cards as its main building blocks, allowing users to convert cluttered ideas into connected information. And it's also great for visual thinking. Scrintle is designed for visual thinkers, offering a platform to see thoughts at a glance. For Obsidian, one of their key features is local storage. Obsidian stores notes on your device, allowing quick access even when offline. It also allows you to link notes. It allows users to create connections between notes and visualize these relationships for an interactive graph. And finally, it's got customizability. With hundreds of plugins and themes, Obsidian can be shaped to fit your way of thinking. So what are the pricing plans? For Scrintle, they have four plans. They have a personal free plan, which is free forever. They have a personal pro plan, which is $5 per user per month. They have a lifetime pro plan, which is $239 for a one-time user with a one-time purchase. And then they had an early access plan for one year, which was $60. For Obsidian, they also have four plans. And the first one is the personal use plan, which is free forever. Next, they have the Obsidian sync plan, which is $8 per user per month, which is billed annually. Then they have the Obsidian publish plan, which is $8 per site per month, which is also billed monthly. And then they have the commercial use plan, which is $50 per user per month. But please note, these prices are of the latest updates and may vary. You should check the official websites for the most current pricing. So which one's easier to use? Scrinto is designed to be user-friendly and not bloated with features or cumbersome to navigate. The platform is intuitive, allowing users to navigate with just a few clicks or a quick passing of the shortcut menu. It's easy to use with a low learning curve, but it's also powerful enough to be used for serious work. Scrintle does not force the user to follow any particular way of doing things, so it has a low barrier for people to start using it and expressing themselves however they like. It lets you work with your knowledge, ideas and thoughts in a way that feels natural and fluid. Obsidian, on the other hand, is a powerful knowledge base that works on top of a local folder of plain text markdown files. It's designed for power users with more advanced features, which might require a steeper learning curve. However, once you get the hang of it, it can be incredibly powerful and flexible. Obsidian allows a lot of customization and personalization, so you can tailor it to your specific needs. It also supports plugins, which can add additional functionality. So which one is better? Both Scrintle and Obsidian have their own strengths and cater to different user needs and preferences. Scrintle is designed to be user friendly with a low learning curve, making it a great choice for those who prefer an intuitive and straightforward tool for organizing their thoughts and ideas. It's not bloated with features and allows users to express themselves however they like. On the other hand, Obsidian is a powerful tool designed for power users. It has more advanced features and allows for a lot of customization and personalization. While it might require a steeper learning curve, it can be incredibly powerful and flexible once you get the hang of it. In conclusion, the better tool between Scrintle and Obsidian really depends on your specific needs, preferences and the way you work. It's best to try both out and see which one suits your workflow better. So this has been my comparison video between Scrintle and Obsidian. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand all the key differences between them and you should be able to work out which one's a better fit for you. I also hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this.
Thanks for watching.